welcome let's start by starting with an event and then you're going to declare three num three variables so the first number that you're going to ask the user to input and the second number and then the total that you want to get after adding those two numbers and then you're going to set those three variables to zero so the first number the second number and the third and the total so that when you start the program all the variables will be zero and then you are going to ask the user to enter the first number and then you can have the sprite displaying the number that you have entered or saying the number that you have entered So then you are going to use all those blocks of code and then so you have entered and then the number that has been so the answer that you have received from the user you are also going to set our, our first variable or the first number is what has been answered or the answer so we set the first variable as the answer that you have received and we do the same for the second number so you're going to ask for the second number from the user and then we can have the sprite saying the number that has been entered So you have you can say you have entered this number and then the answer that you will receive from the user and of course you have to set our second number as what you have received from the user so our second number will be the answer that you have received from the user then from there we are going to set our total as the first number you add the second number So we set our total as the first number that you have received. So first number, then you add the second number that you have received, and then that one should be added under the set to total. And then you can learn our program by clicking on the green flag. We see what will happen. Then we add the second number. And then our program will be able to give you an answer. But you'll find that the block where the sprite is saying something is not necessary. So you can move that one. So you can modify our program. And then we execute our program to see what will happen. So 2 plus 2 should be 4. You can try again. Thank you and keep watching for more tutorials.